few years ago, um, my husband and I went to a mosque just to kind of see what was going on. They had a great celebration, um, and it was during Ramadan, and, and we had this dish of butter chicken, and it was amazing. So I, I begged and pleaded, and the woman who made it sent me her recipe. And now here we are. So tonight I'm going to do the marinade. So this is going to, we're going to put all the spices together, put the chicken in, and then we're going to let it sit in the fridge overnight. And we'll be baking, we'll be cooking it tomorrow. So I'm going to start with a cup of Greek yogurt. I'm going to add three tablespoons of minced garlic. I'm going to add four teaspoons of garam masala. a tablespoon of turmeric, two tablespoons of minced ginger, a tablespoon of cumin, a tablespoon of chili powder, and a teaspoon of salt. Now, if you if you like it salty, you can use more. I don't, so I always use half the salt of whatever a recipe calls for, because that's, we're a low salt household. Okay, so I'm mixing it all together. And then I have three pounds of leg, chicken leg meat pieces that I have cut into like bite-sized pieces that we're gonna put in here. You can use any kind of meat you want. I'm using leg because that's what they had at the store when we went. Um, but as long as it's boneless and skinless, it doesn't matter. You can use legs, thighs, breasts, all the meats. <laughs> okay, and I'm using my hands just because it's easier to make sure that every piece has a little bit of the marinade on it. And now, I'm going to put a lid on it and we're going to put it in the refrigerator overnight and we'll be back tomorrow to cook butter chicken. So our butter chicken has been marinating overnight. Now I have a pan on my stove heating at medium high heat. I'm going to add four tablespoons of olive oil and wait till it starts sizzling. And then we're going to cook our chicken in batches, small batches. You don't want to crowd the pan. And the chicken needs to cook for about three minutes. And then we're going to pull it out, let it keep it warm so that we can make our sauce in the same pan so it gets all the flavor from the chicken and the chicken marinade. Right now we're going to wait on our olive oil to heat up enough to cook our chicken. Okay, so just in case you didn't know, olive oil doesn't naturally sizzle. It'll just sit here and heat up. So what I do is take water and flick it in and if it makes that sound, it's ready for the chicken. Make sense? So here's our chicken. So now we're going to cook it for three minutes and then we'll flip it and then let it cook for another minute and then pull it out to our pan. Okay, so I said flip it and as my husband and lovely cameraman nicely pointed out, I'm not flipping, I'm stirring it. You can't really flip it because you don't want it to get stuck. To the bottom of the pan so you do mostly stirring of it my bad I didn't explain it well so it does the chicken doesn't have to be cooked all the way through because we're gonna cook it in the sauce once we make the sauce we're just trying to get the flavor of the chicken and the marinade in this pan so that we can start on our sauce so again, we're gonna cook the chicken. Just keep cooking the chicken in batches until it's all done. It's about, it's about three minutes per batch of chicken. And I just keep kind of stirring around. And I turned, I noticed that I was starting to uh, char on the edges, so I turned the heat down just a little. It was on halfway to medium high, and now it's on medium. So, 
just keep that in mind. Keep an eye on it. If you need to turn it down, turn it down. Don't burn your chicken and your sauce. So this chicken finally cooked. Um, and it smells amazing. I was just trying to figure out how to explain this smell to anybody. My husband has some really fancy words. I just don't think it'll do it justice. I really wish you guys could smell my kitchen right now because it truly is amazing. So I'm going to reduce the heat to medium. Um, and then we're going to start on our sauce. So I have two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of butter. And we are going to use this to deglaze the pan, which basically means all of those bits that were hardened at the bottom when we were cooking our chicken, we're going to use this to get those up so we can add them to our sauce. So now we're going to add our aromatics. These are just spices and we're only going to cook them for about 20 to 30 seconds just so we can get that smell going in the kitchen. So I'm going to start with three tablespoons of minced garlic. And two tablespoons of minced ginger. Now I'm going to add two teaspoons of chili powder, two teaspoons of garam, I'm sorry, three teaspoons of garam masala, three teaspoons of cumin, and we're going to let those cook. See that nice golden brown color that it's turned? That's perfect. Now I'm going to add two cans of diced tomatoes. You can use crushed. Um, I didn't have any, so I just decided to use diced and I will puree them shortly. Okay, so we got our tomatoes. And now I'm going to add some minced onion. If you want to use fresh onions, do those at the beginning when you first add your butter and your oil after the chicken. Um, I'm going to use minced onion because it's easier on me. That's four ta tablespoons. Otherwise, use two onions diced. All right. And then I have two teaspoons of ground coriander, which I had to grind myself. That's a whole other issue. I have whole coriander. And when we went to the store, it was like six bucks to get it ground. And I was like, you know what? I can grind it myself. I'm okay. I can handle it. Then I have a teaspoon of salt. Um, the recipe itself uh, calls for two teaspoons of salt, but I only used one because we like low sodium in this house. So now I'm going to let this cook for about 15 minutes, let it thicken up, and then we'll be back. All right, so our sauce is cooked for about 15 minutes, and if you look, it is super thick and chunky. So now I'm going to take, if you don't have an immersion blender, feel free to pull out your regular blender and blend up the sauce but it needs to we got to make it thinner and get some of these chunks out so I'm going to use my immersion blender okay so our sauce is almost smooth Now I'm going to add two cups of heavy cream. Stir that in. Oh. Then I have two tablespoons of sugar. and a teaspoon of mustard seed. I'm gonna put this back in. Stir this all together. 
I'm going to turn the heat back to medium. And then I'm going to start, I'm going to add my chicken back into the pan. I'm going to cook this for another 10 minutes, just like this, and then it's ready to eat. But we want to make sure we get that chicken back to warm and fully cooked. So we'll be back in 10 more minutes. All right, guys, it's done. Here we have butter chicken. I, for one, cannot wait to grab a giant bowl of rice and pour this over it and have dinner.